first round of the NFL draft kicks off in less than 24 hours. Yeah, all of us here in Minnesota are eager to see which direction the Vikings will go. Pierre Newsham joining us now, and there's a lot of speculation as to what the Vikings will do in this first round. I've had a lot of people come up to me and ask me and say, hey, what do you think the Vikings are going to do? And I'm going to tell the audience exactly what I tell those people. I have no idea, okay? I, I just read the words off the teleprompter. That's all I do. It, but it is, in fairness, one of the most unpredictable drafts I've seen in recent memory. As of right now, the Vikings still own the 12th overall pick in tomorrow's first round. And I say as of right now because we don't know for sure if the Vikings will stay at 12. It's not hard to fathom that teams in the bottom third of the order will want to move up at some point. The Vikings could be a willing partner if the price is right. Kwesi Adolfo Mensa saying he wants to put his team in a position in which it has multiple options at every pick. And while he has an idea of what he wants to do at 12, he says if a team wants to make a deal, his phone will be on. We're always calling uh, teams and, and getting their, their, their thoughts and, hey, we might be thinking about this at this. It's, 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 it's a big nested if loop thing we got going on and every GM's involved and we've had some great conversations. They've had some great conversations with us. Ultimately, we're ready to do whatever is presented to us. If you stand and pick at 12, we're going to do it and we're going to do it the best that we can for this organization. And if it's not that, we'll do something different. Over in the NBA, if you're still in a bad mood after the Timberwolves head scratching game five loss, I'm sure you're not alone, but I suggest you turn the page quickly because the season will be on the line less than 48 hours from now. Game six is scheduled for Friday night at the Target Center. We still don't have an official tip off time for that game yet. The league has yet to announce that the Wolves trail in the series three games to two. Their backs are against the wall and they don't have time to dwell on game five. They're fighting to save their season come Friday. 48 minutes. It's going to take 48 minutes of pure desperation and an and, and, and execution level that um, we've seen ourselves accomplish at times this year in game. So um, we got to be at our best. Uh, there's no more time. There's no more wiggle room anymore for us. I'm looking forward to Friday because all the pressure is on. You know what I'm saying? It's time to show up. Man. Yeah, I think everybody is ready. On the diamond, Twins and Tigers at it again from Target Field. Twins looking for their sixth consecutive victory, and this will certainly help. Max Kepler gets the best of his former teammate, Michael Pineda, and the Twins have themselves a 1-0 lead, but there's more in the fourth. Kepler again makes Pineda pay with a home run to increase the Minnesota lead to 2-0. Then in the bottom of the fifth, one on for Ryan Jeffers, and you can kiss this goodbye. A two-run shot for Jeffers makes it a 4-0 game. The Twins go on to win this one 5-0. Finally, St. Paul Saints in action today. Taking on Nashville, bottom of the fourth. Jose Miranda opens the scoring with a solo homer here to left field as the Saints jump in front 1-0. Bottom of the seventh now, Elliott Soto driving one to deep right field. Watch Jake Cave here. Coming home, looks like he's going to be thrown out, but the ball gets dropped at home plate. Cave tags, tied at two. We'd head to the bottom of the 10th inning where Royce Lewis comes through in the clutch with a walk-off single as the Saints secure the victory. 3-2 is the final. They are still early in the baseball season, but hey, six wins in a row. Nice. Nothing to shake your head at. Yeah. Twins in first place in the AL Central. I think we're all happy with that. I know. Doubt. It's a good yeah. start. And wasn't Jake Cave up last year? He know? was, yes. Jake Cave saw a lot of time in Twins uniform last year. I, have, I would have to imagine we're probably going to see him back at some point this season as well. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Pierre. All right.